You know, I always love to learn, and I think that it's something that Hampshire is really good at encouraging. The idea of learning how to learn as opposed to just learning things, I think would be kind of the key idea there. I guess I'm just a person who's had a curiosity ever since a little child, and this curiosity has never gone away. What's really unique about Hampshire is that there's a continuous drawing of like a thread. You keep getting different things from each class or each experience, making a more cohesive kind of web to work with. Yeah, this school is almost the exact opposite of what everyone had been telling me college was going to be like when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a good number of studies that show the positive effects of having animals in one's life, and it's also been shown that robots can be positive to one's well-being. I call them comfort creatures. No one's going to make all of the ideas I have, and I don't think anyone's going to do them exactly how I would like to do them, so I might as well try and do them as best as I can and let everyone else do all the stuff they like, you know, whether it's painting or in chemistry or whatever. This is a dye called Rotamine G6, and uh, we're using it to align the laser system. Nanotechnology is a study of things on a small scale, smaller than you could possibly see with a microscope. Basically, I just want to be a part of advancing human knowledge, and nanotechnology is a place where that is rapidly happening. Before I came to Hampshire, I pretty much just danced. But in any art form, you can't just do art without having something else to inform that. Learning to learn, learning for the sake of learning, learning because you love learning and not because you feel like you're supposed to is a really big deal. And it's something that's a big deal in Hampshire. This one really great quote I read by uh, Patty Chayefsky, who wrote Network and Marty and Hospital. And he was saying, don't concern yourself with making art. He said, if you're an artist, whatever you do will be art. Just focus on working. And if you're not an artist, then at least you put in a good day's worth of work, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I don't want to concern myself with, like, am I a visual artist or the sound thing, I'm a musician or whatever. I'm trying to do the things that I like as best as I know how, and then whatever the product is, I want to look at that and then just apply that to the next stuff I do. So DNA is your double helix that everyone's familiar with, but it's also two single strands that can come apart and come back together. And what you can do is you can have the single strands bind together like this and then change the environment it's in and they'll zip together. My project is something that theoretically is possible, but no one's proven it yet. So hopefully, if all goes well, I'll have a publishable paper on DNA biophysics. What I'm kind of crossing my fingers for is that I can take agriculture and dance and social theory and develop this new thread that like would incorporate all of them. When you're in Div 2, it's not just your classes that you're taking and, and making your major, you know, like you're taking your life experience during this time and making it your major. Over the course of my education, I realized that the same questions that I was asking through literature are things that are being directly addressed in neuroscience and decided that this was the area that I wanted to go. Cognitive science, it's the study of thought, essentially. How does this happen? How does, out of these firing synapses, does this thought, does this consciousness appear? And how else can we create that? Does it have to be from a brain? Can it be a program installed on a computer? Oh, it's saying something to me. I can't really <laughs> decipher it yet, but we're communicating. When my hand approaches his head, it kind of bends up so so that uh, I'm, I'm petting it. And it's vibrating too when it's doing that. So it feels like it's sort of purring. <laughs> it actually does make me feel good. I feel very stressed today too, and this is helping. Being serious. Its goal in its entire life is to make you happy. <laughs> <laughs>